yesterday, Bryce Young, Hendon Hooker, and C.J. Stroud combined for 53% completion percentage, 5.4 yards per attempt, uh, one total passing touchdown, and two interceptions. They were all terrible. So this was not the day to be a, a Heisman caliber, Heisman fr- uh, 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 candidate quarterback, unless, of course, you're Drake May and you have your off game and <laughs> it looks like that. So I want to preface it with that first uh, is, you know, he did not have the, the, the flashy numbers as much yesterday as he has the rest of the year, but one of the one of the tests if if you're a if you're an NFL scout one of the things you want to see is how does a quarterback play when it gets muddy you know can he be a mutter is he capable of of you know having of, of having success when some of those big plays aren't available when you're throwing where guys are more covered when you've got a little pressure you know those sorts of things so I think Drake May yesterday showed in spades that he can, again, I think he's proven this a couple times this year, but he proved he can handle that. Uh, And you think about it, you're you're right. I mean, the one really uncharacteristic drop by Antoine Green changed the game. I mean, that that guy has been really consistent catching the football. He had to stretch just a little bit for that, but that's one that, you know, he's going to come down with 95 times out of 100, if not more. And you know, that, that, that changes the game pretty significantly. Um, and I think, I think again, what I, what I saw is a guy that, that recognized, okay, so this is what they're doing. They're playing over the top. They're bringing pressure from a couple different spots. I'm going to notice, I'm just going to, I'm going to start keeping, uh, I'm, I'm going to start being willing to, to take the shorter stuff the the not sexy stuff more quickly and just let my guys do their thing. I think that's that's been the thing. And and uh that's where again you've got a chance in every game when that guy plays because if you bring pressure and you play over the top and you and you combine then this is what Virginia did. They played over the top, tried to prevent the the big plays while also getting pressure. He just cut him to ribbons underneath. And it's the precision and the ability to get the ball out quickly. And then when there's nobody there quickly, because there are a number of times there, there, the, the guys were covered right away, he was able to, to create with his feet and, and to uh, slide and, and potentially throw guys open. And then in other cases, as you mentioned, Buck, that uh, when, he, when he's in New York at the end of the year, that's going to be one of those plays that's shown early on that highlight package. Or it might be the one that, that ends it. Uh, in terms of the highlight package that they show in the in, in the uh, in the ceremony on television, so you know, I I saw a lot of things. You know, I was asked uh, by you know a, a more national podcast this last week if you know you take eligibility out of this, is Drake May the number one choice in the NFL draft this year? And I said absolutely. I think he'd be the, I think he would be the number one draft pick in the NFL coming out this year. And I, we saw another day. That's that's why. Yeah, he's definitely the no. If if the trajectory continues, somebody asks, "Will he stay three years?" Well, next year is his third year, um, and we'll be talking about him, I guess, in April of the twenty twenty four NFL draft. 